Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to implement a boolean expression in Tinkercad. Here is the boolean expression. Here is the logic circuit and you can see here the truth table. Open your Tinkercad account and create a new circuit. When you click all, you can see all the components. Here we have to use two AND gates and one O gate. Take a bedboard into your working space. I am taking a large size breadboard. Then search for a power supply. Now I am searching for ICs. Here we have to use two, in, two, two input AND gates and one two input OR gate. Here I have given you the basic logic gates and their IC numbers. In order to represent two input AND gates, we use IC7408. And place it on your working space. Now search for 7432 to find out two input OR gate. At the center of the breadboard, you can see here small deviation. Uh, so we have to connect both parties like this. Now I am taking 4 slide switches because we have 4 inputs as A, B, C and D. A slide switch is a mechanical switch. It has two positions as open and close position. Open position means when the switch is open and the close means when the switch is closed. It has three terminals, terminal 1, terminal 2 and here is the common terminal. Now I am taking four resistors. Give 330 ohms for each resistor. Also, I need four LED as well. From here, you can change the color of each LED.
now i am going to give the power supply normally i have used red color wires for positive connections and black color wires for negative connections here you can see the negative terminal connect negative to the ground rail here is the ground rail and here is the power rail connect negative to the ground rail by using a black color wire and then by using a red color wire connect positive to the power rail keep the slide switches on your breadboard then connect the resistors and then led connect cathode to the ground and then connect positive to the positive side negative to the negative side We need one more trans resistor and LED to show the output. connect cathode to the ground now let's start the connection first of all i'm going to label each input here input a b and D here you can see A going to the AND gate it means one input here here A is connected to one A Let's make the LED A as green. Then here B going to AND gate. It means the second input. B is input 1B. I'm making it as blue. Here you can see the output of A and B is connected to another AND gate. Here is the output 1 and it is connected to another AND gate. I am connecting this output 1 to input 2A.
here C is going to O gate. It means the first input. C is connected to input 1A of O gate. And D also going to the O gate and it is the second input. I am changing the color as yellow and also changing the LED color as yellow. Now this D is taken into this O gate as input 1B. Also, I am changing the color of LED as orange. The output of C or D is connected to an AND gate. Here is the output of this O gate C or D and then it is taken as input to B. Now the output of this second AND gate, it means this AND gate is connected to our output LED. I am giving the color pink. I am connecting these ICs to power rail and the ground rail. Here is the power. And here is the ground. Now I am connecting these slight switches to the power. You can connect either terminal 1 or terminal 2 to the power ray or the ground ray. I am connecting the terminal 1 to the ground rail and terminal 2 to the power ray. Now the circuit is ok and then hit the start simulation button. Switch A is working, switch B is working, switch C is working and switch D is working. You can compare the output with this truth table. This is the end. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.